one of the techniques I pioneered when I was invited to write the Incredible Router book in 1989 is what I call fast plunge routing. And this is a very efficient way to remove stock in a variety of woodworking applications. Now, I suspect that because the router was originally designed as a grooving and rebating tool, the conventional and assumed method is to make horizontal passes and to cut in steps to reach a given depth. But if you want to cut a recess, for instance, uh, large or deep mortises, uh, boxes or clock movement housings, it's not necessarily the quickest or most efficient way to remove the stock. You can still use a fence or guide bush, but you can make vertical plunge cuts instead and with practice do it freehand working back to a line. But the easiest way is to use a guide bush and simple template using double-sided tape. Now, why is the fast plunge method more efficient? Well, you only need to listen to the router to get a clue that it's doing less work than when removing the same stock, making horizontal passes. If you look at the action, each overlapping vertical cut is crucially no more than a third the diameter of the cutter, which effectively creates a crescent-shaped cut section. The short grain fibres easily break away under the rotary action of the cutter, which of course must be razor sharp. The secret to the efficiency and speed of my method is to create a rhythmic, almost bouncing action from one cut to the next. The crucial thing, I must repeat, is not to take too much off from each cut. Now I call it intuitive woodworking, but intuition is something that's not taught, but can be learned. Thank you.